are discussing optimization that is finding the maxima minima of a function fxy okay with a respect to a constraint g x y equals to c okay so we already know the necessary condition for the optimum value to occur the necessary condition was the partial derivative of fx divided by the partial derivative of fy is equal to the partial derivative of g with respect to x divided by the partial derivative of g with respect to y this was the necessary condition we can equivalently write this as fx upon gx equals to fy upon gy that means these two ratios should be equal now we introduce a method known as lagrange multiplier method now what is this assume that this ratio fx divided by gx equals to fy divided by gy equals to lambda okay because these two are equal so we can assume that they are equal to some constant lambda so that means f of x is equal to lambda times gx and f of y is equal to lambda times gy okay or equivalently this means that fx minus lambda times gx equals to 0 and fy minus lambda times gy equals to 0 okay so now we are going to develop a method so let us define a function a lagrange function x of x y and lambda okay which is defined as f of x y minus lambda times g of x y minus c we have this thing okay now we can see that when we partially differentiate l with respect to x we will have f of x minus lambda times g of x because c is a constant so its derivative is going to be zero similarly when we will have l of y we will have f of y minus lambda times g of y okay and we will have l of lambda so that is now we are differentiating f with respect to lambda f is only dependent on x and y so this is going to be zero minus the derivative of lambda is 1 g x y minus c so we can we already know that now what is happening that we know that 1 2 and 3 are holding so we know that 1 2 and 3 are true so it would mean that l of x is equal to 0 l of y equals to 0 and l of lambda is equal to 0 okay so these are equivalent conditions now therefore we will be solving these two equations along with this equation to find the point of optimizations or maxima or minima l of lambda equals to 0 is equivalent to g of x y equals to c so we can say that solve lx equals to 0 ly equals to 0 and g of xy equals to c to find the point of maxima and minima or maxima or minima okay now for example we have this question maximize f of xy equals to xy subject to 2x plus y equals to m. Okay. Now this problem is framed like this. We have to find the maximization. So it is given in the problem that we have to find the maxima only. The optimum value will come out to be maximum. Okay. So basically, here your f x y is given to us. Here this is your g of x y equals to 2x plus y. So actually, g x y, you know, minus m. You have to consider this particular thing. okay so we will be defining l of xy equals to f of xy minus lambda times g of x comma y minus m so that means l of xy would be xy minus lambda 2x plus y minus m okay so l of x equals to 0 is equivalent to saying that y minus lambda 0 2 plus 0 minus 0 okay equals to 0 so this implies that y equals to 2 lambda l of y equals to 0 is equivalent to saying see we are calculating the partial derivative of l with respect to y now so the partial derivative with respect to y of xy will be x minus lambda and now this is 2x partial derivative with respect to y will be 
for y it is going to be 1 so this would imply that x is equal to lambda okay so we have y equals to 2 lambda x equals to lambda so these two equations now what we have to see this so 2x plus y equals to m so that means 2 lambda plus 2 lambda equals to m so 4 lambda equals to m this would imply is m equals to or lambda equals to m by 4. So from here we are going to get x equals to m by 4 and y equals to 2 m by 4 which is going to be m by 2. So the optimum value occurs at m by 4 comma m by 2. So this is how we apply the method of Lagrange multiplier to calculate maxima or minima of a function of two, variable function of two variables with respect to an equality constraint.